Hi everyone, welcome back to you, me and the family or if you are new here, welcome. Hi, I'm Hannah, a mum of four ranging from a 15 year old down to a two year old and we live as a family of six in the southeast of England. Um, today I have a home bargains and poundland haul for you. Um, I picked this lot, these bits up yesterday while me and Steve went to Westwood Cross. Um, I wanted to have a look around the new Aldi shop that's there. How sad am I? I wanted to look around a new supermarket. Um, and then Chloe needed some hay and guinea pig food. So I stopped at Home Bargains, picked up a few bits there and pets at home for her guinea pig food. So I thought I'd put it all out on my kitchen counter. I thought I'd do my kitchen counter today because the light's a bit better than my dining room. And I'll show you what I got. I got, um, I've wrote all the prices on things. Um, there is a few little things missing because little mouths and hands wanted their items and they couldn't wait for me to haul it for you. So we'll start over with home bargains. I have wrote all the prices on the items that I can do. Items that I haven't done, by all means, if you want to know the price, just ask in the comments and I'll let you know. But in Home Bargains, I spent £80.42, but 30 of that is pretty much for Chloe straight off. And I'll explain and show you that when I come to the items. So that's the receipt showing you what I got. And little bits up there. And um, let's show you, shall we? Um, we do have here though, Chloe's guinea pig food. That's the item that I picked up from Pets at Home. This is what she feeds her guinea pigs. Um, it's select, science selective balanced guinea pig food. At the moment, it's normally £12.50 for a 4kg sack, but they've got it down to 9 99 at the moment. So that's why I went in there and got that for her. Hey. I picked up, let's move this guinea pig food now. There we go. Put that down there. Hay is by far the best price place I've found is Home Bargains. So I've picked her up four from there because they are $2.69 for uh, the same size bale as what Pets at Home sell. And her guinea pigs love this stuff. So I thought I'd pick her up four because having the four baby guinea pig, uh, five baby guinea pigs, she's going through it quite quickly now. And it is a crucial part of a guinea pig's diet. So um, I've bought them for her this week. She normally buys all her guinea pig stuff. Um, she does get an allowance each month. And then it teaches her to budget and the responsibility of animals. But we do help her out. And we do buy things for the guinea pigs as well. Hence why I've bought this hay this time and the guinea pig food. But she will. it'll be down to her to buy all the veggies and anything else that they need. So that is the hay for her. And then my mum bought Shadow, my 14-year-old German Shepherd, these for Christmas. And she absolutely loved them. And um, I haven't seen them since in Home Bargains until now. So I picked her up some. I give her one of these every couple of days when I know I'm going out for a few hours to keep her occupied. And they were £1.79 each. My mum wanted um, some distilled white vinegar and some spices because she has an allotment and they're trying to clear out their freezer um, and doing some preserving. So they're making um, lots of chutneys and pickles with all the um, tomatoes that they grew last year. So she needed some more distilled vinegar. So I picked up two bottles. They're quite big bottles as well. They're one litre. And they're only 69p, so I don't think that's bad. So they're going to be going to her. And then she wanted some paprika. And at home bargains, they're cheaper than um, Aldi. They're only 39p. So I picked up three jars of that. So they'll be going straight to mum once I've finished doing this video. I picked up Steve some more Brill Cream. He loves this stuff. I always have one in the cupboard, one in use. And then when he uses the one, like coming to the end of the one that he's been using, I get another one so that it rotates. So that he doesn't throw it at me last minute, he's run out of hair cream. 
um, and Home Bargains and B&M are the cheapest around. Normally this is like £5 in Tesco's and it's two forty nine in Home Bargains. So I got him that. He needed a new nail brush because being a mechanic he gets really dirty hands and nails and he just broke the last one. Plus, you know, obviously the bristles soften up after a while when they start falling out. So we picked him up a new one which was 39p. And then this is one of the items Chloe wanted, which pushed our our um, total up. She wanted a £20 PlayStation gift card because there's a game on the PlayStation she wanted. So she gave me the money and then I bought this in Home Bargains. So that was that. She's already got it on the PlayStation on the go. I picked up these um, three packs of Nesquik All Natural Chocolate Flavoured Milk Drinks. We've had these before. Um, I got these in a Degusta box, a subscription box that comes each month. Um, and the kids absolutely loved them. Uh, the flavour I got was strawberry. And they liked them. And Chloe has Nesquik um, powder in her Ensures every night anyway. So we know she likes Nesquik. And um, they had these on the shelf for a pound for free. So I picked them up. I picked up five five lots of three so that there's enough for like five the equivalent of five days sort of thing for them but when I've looked at the receipt they actually charged me £1.19 for the free so I will say guys it's, it's happened to me a couple of times now home bargains have labeled things different prices to what they're actually charging you so be careful and check your receipts when you leave the shop because like I said this isn't the first time they've done it it's this one and then in another haul they've overcharged me for things but at the time I know it's hard you don't exactly think about check your receipt as you walk out the door it's not until you come home but yeah they're they're doing it quite a lot lately so yeah um 10 chicken satay skewers because the kids like these in their packed lunches it's a great source of protein for Chloe Nathan loves them as well my little two-year-old Obviously, I don't give him the um, stick that's in there. I pull them off of the stick and put it on a plate for him. I could have sworn I bought five, but I've gone to the fridge and I can only four, find four packs. So I'm wondering whether one of the kids helped themselves last night or not. But it doesn't matter. They are £1.19 each. Uh, Dairy Lee Triangles, 16 pack. Chloe loves Dairy Lee and then she loves the Dairy Lee triangles and it's cheaper to get it from Home Bargains than it was at um, Tesco's and they only cost me £1, what was it, let's just quickly check that receipt, £1.89 for the 16 so they will go in the fridge and then Chloe will just use them to snack on or I'll end up using them for her bagels and stuff if I run out with a cheese spread but I doubt it I got some glue sticks down there because I needed some to go with my glue gun 59p because I do want to do a valentine's craft for the kids but whether I'll get time to do it or not is another matter but um glue sticks and hot glue gun always come in handy 59p like I said um two months there was there was two monsters, one for me, one for Steve, but Steve's already took his today. I know these aren't the best, okay, but I don't drink tea, I don't drink coffee, and there's some days this mama needs an uplift. And um, of lately, this last month, it seems like this mama needs it a lot more, with my health and then obviously having poorly children and everything, and then Nathan with his possible autism and sleeping trouble, I'm not getting much sleep anyway. So um, come about midday to about three o'clock, I need a bit of extra help. So that's when I call this for help. <laughs> but again, they are quite pricey. So it's only every now and then I have them. It's Steve that depends on them a bit more. Um, hairspray for Hayley. I always pick up a tin of hairspray because um, I will not send her to school without hairspray. It helps prevent nits coming home. Touch wood, I've only had them once from her which I'm really happy about. Um, two lots of Tommy Tippy teats for the bottles. 
Yes, Nathan is two, nearly two and a half. But um, it appears by um, what the um, oh, health visitor has come up with and the paediatrician, he is actually possibly a year to a year and a half behind his actual age. And he still does love a bottle. Only of a night and in the morning with his milk. But um, the teats that he has with his original bottles are all breaking now. So I thought I'd refresh them and get him some new ones. Um, they were 2 99 for the fast flow. Um, I will say, please don't judge me on that, guys. I mean, it is a very tender subject with my kids anyway. Having three kids on the spectrum and um, one with possible development delays and all that lot. I do anything and everything for my kids to make their lives as best and as happy as I can do okay so um if it makes if it means letting Nathan have a bottle of milk that is what I'm gonna do so if you do have any um criticism or um your own opinion that isn't likely to make me feel very good about myself about doing this please keep it to yourself because I am very self-conscious about what I do and say with my family as it is. Okay, so um, yeah, enough on that subject. <laughs> um, power kick, caffeine and glucose tablets. Yes, that is for me. I don't take them every day. Um, just every now and then, like I said, to give me that little bit of help in the afternoon to get me through till bedtime when I've had a rough night or rough day with Nathan. They are 89p. They're a lot cheaper than the um, Pro Plus that you can buy. Two bottles of children's paracetamol. The cheapest I have found in any shop, one forty nine a bottle. I think all the supermarkets now are like £2.10, £2.20. And with all the colds and flus and that going around at the moment, I'm going through an awful lot of cowpole. Or liquid paracetamol, shall I say. So um, they come in handy and always always have to make sure I have a steady supply of them. I got some love hearts for Nathan. Um, limited edition emojis apparently. The reason he's got these is because I'm doing the kids up a little Valentine's hamper slash goodie bag. To show the kids how much mummy and daddy love them. Um, Valentine's Day isn't just for couples in my eyes. Yes, mummy and daddy love each other, but we love the kids as well. So, um, I'm determined to show the kids how much they mean to us this year with a few little goodies and a lovely card from mummy and daddy. So, um, Nathan's got these because they melt and he'll be fine with them. Steve picked up these as well as another bag for him and Nathan, but he hasn't got this bag. He had the other one in the car with Nate to keep him occupied and happy they were only 89p I mean he's got to have some sort of a treat hasn't he to come out shopping with me <laughs> um at the back here these are what the three older kids are gonna have um Nathan has the hearts these are like um a rock lolly which is a nice little pretty love heart to go in their bags they were only 89p each and then I saw these as well they're cute little chocolate hearts. So um, there's four of them because obviously Nathan can have it. But we would supervise him tremendously with this. And as soon as he gets to the stick, we'll end up breaking the chocolate off and giving it to him then. So that's for the Valentines. Oh, sorry, my hand's starting to shake. At the back here, we picked up these for Nathan. They're the magnetic letters and numbers. But um, they're a lot bigger there you can see a lot, big, a lot bigger than the ones you can normally get for the fridge to go on the fridges and freezers. And um, we've had to make sure they are bigger because Nathan is likely to put them in his mouth. And um, we've got to make sure he's going to be a lot safer and less of a choking hazard. And obviously if they're bigger, he's not going to attempt to put them in his mouth, if that makes sense. And they were only 2 99 So they're going to go in his Valentine's box. Because obviously the other kids can have things he can't have. I got some Valentine's Day or love hearts really to go up around the front room for Valentine's. They are honeycomb hanging paper hearts. There's two in a pack, two different sizes. And what the, the best thing is, you can reuse them. 
you, they use clips to fold round. There's the clips. So all you do is literally you fold them round and you use the paper clips rather than sticking them. And then you hang them where you need to go. And then you can reuse them next year if you store them correctly. And they were only 99p each. Move the lollies out of the way. And my pen. Uh, Valentine's cards. I got one for Steve, obviously. That's for me to give to him. It's mine and Steve's wedding anniversary on the 10th of March. And we're going away for the weekend. And I saw this card and I thought I might as well pick it up while I was there. Um, that was 79p. And then I had to get another card of the same sort of size to hide those cards. Because obviously Steve was with me and I didn't want him seeing everything that I was buying. So he kind of wandered off with Nathan while I got the cards. And then I stuck this one on top so that he couldn't see these two. And he still doesn't know I've got them, even though he was with me. I literally kind of just piled them up like that. So he just thought it was a birthday card. <laughs> and then down here, we have three birthday, uh, birthday cards. No, three cards with love on. They're little Valentine's cards. Just for the three big kids, Chloe, Shane and Hayley. I'm not doing Nathan one because he won't understand. But um, they were only 69p each and then mummy and daddy will write a lovely message in there for them to show them how much we love them. And I think that was everything I bought from Home Bargains. So it really doesn't look much for what I got. But like I said, I mean the hay was 10, like £11 and then that playstation card was 20 quid so yeah quite expensive but hey ho that's the way things are going isn't it guys right let me just turn you over here so i got a, num a non-working hand went into poundland and then because i saw on someone else's haul on video on youtube some lovely valentine's bits that they had in and i wanted to get some for the kids so steve took me to poundland and then I ended up spending £20, 25p in there. And we're going to start the back. <laughs> I thought this would make Steve laugh. Laugh. It's an apology pad. I do. I do. I hold my hands up. I do have a bad temper. Okay. I can lose my S-H-I-T quite easily on a str when I'm stressed. And I do end up saying I'm sorry quite a lot afterwards but I thought it'd be funny for me to have this and um to apologize to Steve for when I have been a um, bit of a cow to him <laughs> or the kids you know I could end up using it for the kids as well giving them an apology but um that was only 99p it was only like a little joke thing really and then this I thought me and Steve could have a laugh with this it's a drinks bell and um obviously where I have back and hip problems and um, other health issues, Steve is pretty much my carer. He helps me an awful, awful lot around the house and I wouldn't cope without him. I wouldn't be without him. I love him to bits. Um, and then, like, if he knows I'm in a lot of pain, he will um, keep offering me drinks and then go get my painkillers and medication and stuff. But... um. I thought I'd just have this next to the sofa where I normally sit and then I could just like um, ding and wind him up a little bit but I, and just tell him when I need my medication or whatever. But um, to be truthful, I can, I can see that being thrown out the front door but I thought it would be a bit of a laugh. Um, it was only 99p, so um, yeah, I thought it would be funny. <laughs> Long explanation there, weren't it? Um, I went over there mainly for these. They're free in a pack, little heart dip bowls or little ramekins really and I thought they'd be fantastic for the kids and for us because there is six of us if you count Nathan and being Valentine's this week coming I'm planning on doing a Valentine's meal on the actual Tuesday for the whole family and then on the Saturday following I'm going to cook me and Steve a nice romantic meal and then, um, you never know, throughout the week, there might be a few lovey-dovey meals for the family as well, if that makes sense. Be a bit, might be a week full of love in this house. We could do with it, couldn't we? Um, but 
I saw these on a haul and it said that they were one pound. But when I look on my receipt, it says they were actually do 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 one pound fifty. So whether it's different shops are charging different prices or they've put their prices up or the person that advertised these got their prices wrong it doesn't matter i've got them now i'm happy one pound fifty they'll probably end up putting their ketchup in it or barbecue sauce or something um colgate white charcoal toothpaste this is chloe's absolute favorite toothpaste i haven't got it for a while um two pound a tube so that's mainly for her the others won't touch it I thought these would be good to take away for my weekend away with Steve. Might be a bit cheesy for you guys, but it is our five-year wedding anniversary. Although we've been together 60, nearly 17 years, we've only been married five. And we didn't get to have a honeymoon. So we're going away to a nice posh hotel for the weekend and a nice spa. And I thought um, I could... Um, send steve out for the hour and kind of spruce up the hotel room you never know <laughs> sprinkle some hot confetti everywhere and make a mess for everyone but um that was a pound thought that'd be a bit of a giggle i got these for nathan it's a big value pack of 10 packs of like four biscuits in each type and he does like creamed fill biscuits and these would be absolutely fantastic to keep in the baby bag for when he does start getting hungry because with Nathan, where he can't talk, he struggles to communicate with us. So when he does start to get hungry, he doesn't tell us. He starts just playing up, whinging, crying and all that lot. So usually it's hunger. So we keep stuff like this on hand to just try and keep him calm. And in here you have the vanilla, cocoa vanilla, strawberry flavour, double chocolate and chocolate and banana. And like I said, you get 10 packets in there. So you get two of each flavour and then you get individual individual biscuits in each. So that's that. And they are 125 Steve picked up a new uh, hose pipe head because the other one's just broke. Where the hose got left on and the water froze in it when we had that cold spell, it cracked and broke. So he picked up a new one of them, which was £3.00. Here, as we went to the checkout, I saw these um, ground almonds and me and the kids love um, macaroons or macarons. And now that I've got a new stand mixer, which is there, lovely, lovely, nice and shiny, got it off Amazon. Um, now that I've got that, I don't, hopefully I'll be able to cook and bake a bit more because obviously I haven't got a stand there. I can sit in my chair and let it do the work for me rather than me standing there and holding the hand mixer and um yeah we like making macaroons so hopefully now that i've got that mixer i can start making and baking a bit more they were advertised for a pound but they came up to 125 and then on the end of the receipt they removed a pound so i don't know if they were a pound each and they just deducted it or what but they come up on the receipt as one twenty-five. They were advertised at a pound. I know I can get them cheaper. I will get them cheaper off Amazon for a big bulk. But for now, I just got the four 100 gram bags. And then last but not least are these cute little, well, they're not exactly little, um, cute wooden heart photo frames. I thought I would go around the house tonight and take a picture of mummy and daddy with each of the children print them off and then stick a photo in each of them so chloe mummy and daddy in that one Haley, mummy and daddy in that one nathan mummy and daddy in there and then shane and mummy and daddy in there to go in their valentine's goodie bags i know it's not exactly the boyish thing but shane isn't the typical boyish boy if that makes sense he loves mummy and daddy and he does like his pictures around and um, Nathan likes looking at photos anyway. And this has no glass. So at least then I know he can't smash it. And they were only 99p as well. So couldn't exactly go wrong. So that is everything that I bought from Home Bargains and Poundland today. And the guinea pig food from Pets at Home. Well, I didn't buy it today. I bought it yesterday. Well, 
that's what I bought, okay? So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here and have seen this video, go check out a few of my other videos. And if you like what I do and how I present things and that, please subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. And then don't forget to hit the notification button so that YouTube can tell you every time I upload a new video. So take care. I'm going to put all this lot away before the kids come home so they don't see it. And I will see you in my next haul. Take care, guys. Bye.